Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow and Mira. It's Pilates with fitness ball time. So let's grab the ball and have some fun. We're gonna start the class standing. So I want you to stand with the feet in line with the sit bone. So your heels in line and your feet are in parallel position. Press the feet down, lift the spine up tall and I want you to take the ball in front of you. Oh, you can't see me so I'm gonna turn myself around. So. Press the ball in front of you or reach the ball in front of you here, lifting tall with the spine. And as you breathe out, I want you to squeeze the ball for me. So here I want you to activate your rib cage, your upper abdominal, your middle abdominal, squeezing the ball in breath. Again, exhale, activate the center. And three more, in breath. Two, squeezing, squeezing like as if you're gonna burst the ball. You probably won't, but maybe you could try. Last one. And release. Take the arms overhead this time. Here, again, connect the shoulders down. Exhale, let's squeeze the ball. In breath. Make sure your shoulders are releasing away from your head. Again, exhale. In breath. And picking up that pelvic floor and wrapping that transverse abdominis and squeeze the ball. Last two. Last one. All right, stay with the ball overhead, over to your right for a side tilt. Exhale, come back. Plant the feet down, inhale, reach over to your left. I want you to anchor your left heel down and reach the right heel down to the floor and Inhale, anchor your right foot down, reach out. And in breath, the pelvis should idly stay over the feet. In breath. Exhale. Last one. Now let's add some twists. Exhale, we rotate to your right. Inhale, center. The pelvis again should stay rather quiet and rotate in breath rotate in breath last one and center now here we're going to soften the knee a little bit and forward fold forward keep the ball in your arms trying to find that flat back and bring yourself upright again. Again, in breath, folding at the hip, softening the knee, send the pelvis back, engage the back muscle. Exhale. And three more, in breath. Exhale. Two more. Last one. and release the ball down. Now we're gonna transfer ourselves to the floor. Okay, let's place the ball on your mat and I want you to sit on the ball for a moment and roll yourself forward and walk your feet forward. Now have your feet in parallel position. You are welcome to have your feet slightly wider as well as your pelvis to get a bit more stability. But if you feel like you wanna work hard with me today, we're gonna try to keep the heels in line with a sitting bone there. Interlacing the hands behind the head. I want you to arch over the ball. Now try to get that pelvis, not pelvis, the thigh bone in a very horizontal alignment. And now rest the pelvis onto the ball. We're moving on to a chest lift here. Elbows are off into your, in your peripheral vision. Stretch and open the shoulder blades apart. Breathe out, draw in the center and then slide the rib cage down and lift your head and the chest up. To a chest lift here and in breath lift a little bit more and exhale arch over the ball i want your pelvis to stay in contact with the ball here exhale glide the ribs down and lift the head and the chest forward and up inhale lift a little bit more and exhale arch over the ball three more lift Inhale, lengthen, grow. 
and exhale over the ball. Two more. Lift. Oh, shaky, shaky, shaky. <laughs> Inhale, lift and lengthen up. And exhale over the ball. And last one here. Lift up. I'm experiencing some earthquake in my center here. How are you going? <laughs> Inhale, stay. Take the arms forward. Little pulses. Pull it in your center. Reach forward. And two. And three. Four. One more. Five. Hands back behind the head. And arch your body over the ball. We're going to add some rotation here. So lifting up again. Rotate with me to the right. Anchor the right foot down. Rotate the upper torso over. The pelvis is still quietly contact, in contact with the ball. And return back to center and over the ball. Now again. And lift. Over to the left. And breath. And come right back over the ball. Again. Exhale, rise, lengthening. I'm thinking of going up as I curl that ribs a little bit deeper into the ball. And back to the center. Again, over to my left. I'm anchoring my left foot down. I'm going to take my right side over to my left a little bit more. Get my shoulder blades off the floor. And back to center. Let's do one more time. One more set. And to the right. In breath and exhale over and over to the left. You can hear from my breath. I'm trembling. In breath, hold. It's a sign of good hard work and come right back over the ball. I'm going to come up again. I forgot to do our pulses. So lift up over to your right and reach the arm forward. Reach out for five. Anchor the leg. Two, three, four, five. Hands behind, center, over the ball. And to the left. Reach, left, pull in, left, pull in, left. Two more. Last one. Hands behind, center, over the ball. Okay, now we're going to come up again into the chest lift, just to the middle here. Stay. Curl the pelvis, lift the hips up. So we are coming into like a table position with the chest lift. And lower the pelvis down. And exhale, curl up again. In breath, hold. Exhale, roll it down. Just do me a favor and watch your thigh bone here. I want you to have a look. Make sure the thigh bone are parallel, like number 11. Your knees are going over your feet. Not to the side, not splaying to the side, not together. And whoop, lower the pelvis down. Two more. Curl, squeezing the hip extensors. In breath. Exhale. Last one. Lift and stay. Lift the heels up and lower. Lift the heels up. Lower the heel. Maybe lift the pelvis up a little bit more. Lift the heels up. Lower the heel. Lift the pelvis a little bit more. Two more. Broaden the shoulder blade. Elbows reaching out to the side. One more time with me. Lift. And lower, release the pelvis down, release the chest over the ball just for a moment. We take ourselves up again and pelvic curl up again and stay. If you have your feet quite wide, I suggest you bring them a little closer to each other in line with the sitting bone. Press the right foot down, lift the right hip up, lift the left heel up. We're going to take that leg up. To a tabletop balance there. Hold for five, four, three, two, and take it down. Whoa, I made it. And let's press the left foot down, squeeze the left bottom up, take the right heel up, transfer the weight to the left foot, lifting up. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Take the foot back. 
and lower the heel, lower the pelvis, arch the ball or arch over the ball. And here, I want you now straighten the legs, reach the body over the ball. You may have your legs a little bit wider for better balance here if you wish to. I'm going to just shuffle out just a tiny bit. And then bend the knees and bring, I'll sit the pelvis down and bring the ball to your start position. And again, press the feet, stretch the leg, allow the body to just surrender onto the ball. And bend the knee, fold the hip in. One more, please. And press the feet, stretch the leg, open the chest, extend the leg, and bend the knee. Bring the pelvis, and I want you to just take yourself all the way down. Sit down on the floor. Good job. All right, now let's pick the ball. I want the ball to be on the side of your body. So we're going to sit on the side of the ball. Straighten the legs away. The top one will be behind. The bottom one will be under. You will be resting on the side of your body. Bottom hand underneath here, top hand here. Anchor the top leg down, press the foot down. Side lift, we go up and down. And just readjust your body to where you feel most comfortable and stable. And three more. Two. One, we stay. Little pulses. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, come back down. Bend the bottom knee, bring it in. Top hand on the ball. Again, readjust the body on the ball. Curl the pelvis under a little bit more. And now here, take the top leg up. We're gonna take the top leg forward on the front of the mat and back over the rainbow. In breath. And in breath. Exhale, three more. Exhale, lots of concentration needed for this exercise. Exhale, last one. And back, back to center, lower, tuck the leg in and sit down and go over to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna bring the hip over the ball. Switch my leg, got the wrong leg, and stretch the leg away, top leg behind you, anchor the foot down, lengthen yourself over the ball, and we go. Oh, that's my balance. Lift, and down. And three more. Two. One. Stay, little pulses, five, four, three, two, one, good job. And then bring the bottom knee in, top hand on the ball, lift the top leg up, squeeze the pelvis forward a little bit more, lift it up, and over forward, in breath, exhale, and and forward, and three more, two, one, back to center, bring it down, bring the knee in, and sit down. Okay, we're gonna lie supine on the floor, this one. So have your feet on the ball, Parallel position, we're gonna do some pelvic curl here. Again, align your heel with a sit bun. Go a little bit further apart if you need to. Press the arms down, press the feet onto the ball. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna curl the tailbone up, press down on the feet. Roll yourself up, up, up. Push the arms and lift the pelvis a little higher. And exhale, we're gonna roll the spine all the way down. 
Yes, we're going to feel that back of the leg working. Sometimes they feel like they're about to cram. And exhale. I hope they don't cram this time. And roll it up, 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 up. In breath. Exhale, roll back down. Articulate. Can we imprint every single vertebra down to the floor as we articulate down to the floor? And then release the pelvis back to your start position. Lengthen the sitting bone to the football. And exhale. You see, I'm gibbering now already. <laughs> so much concentration required to roll my pelvis up and down. In breath. Exhale. Roll down. Articulate down. And release the pelvis all the way down there. Can we do one more time here? And exhale, we roll up, 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 and stay high, hold. We're going to stretch the leg. So press the ball away, straighten, curl the pelvis up, drag the ball towards you. Four more, yes. Those hamstrings are talking to you. Stick with it, and reach. And curl, bring the ball to you. Two more. See if you can keep the pelvis at the same height the whole time. Last one. And bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Hold. Roll the spine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Roll the spine all the way down. Oh boy. We need a bit of a slap, don't we? Okay. Let's grab the ball. Hug the ball with your legs. Squeeze them. Squeeze it. All right, open the arms out to the side. It's quite intimidating to have a big ball in front of you like so. Right, spine to supine. And we inhale over, rotate to me. Exhale, come back to center. And over towards you. Exhale, come back to center. And in breath. And exhale. In breath. Exhale. One more each side. Last one. And back to center. Straighten the leg, bring the ball. Squeeze it with your ankles. All right, we got the hundreds coming and keep the leg vertically over you. We exhale, press the arms, lift the head and the chest up here. Reach your arms long in breath and exhale. Inhale, can we reach a little higher? Exhale. In breath. Two more sets here. Last one. We hold, lower the chest down, keep the arms by the side here. Okay, we're gonna do a little pass over here. We're gonna reach the leg away from you. Bring the legs up over you. Grab the ball with the hands. Bring the legs together. Bring the ball overhead and keep the leg vertically above you. Bring the ball towards the legs. Open the legs, squeeze the ball. Keep the arms vertical there. Lower the legs down. Bring the leg up. Transfer to the ball, to the hands, to the arms, over the head. And squeeze the ball with the legs. Legs away. Legs come up. Grab the ball. And over the head. And transfer to the legs. Legs away. One more. And transfer to the arms, legs together, ball over the head, and transfer to the legs. This is the most interesting part, I think, of the whole class. Arms by the side. We're gonna try to do roll over here. We're gonna attempt to do roll over here. So, legs away. And up to the sky, squeeze the ball, press the arm, curl the spine over. Do not let that ball to fall over your face and roll the spine down. Legs away from you. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, curl the pelvis, or squeeze the ball, squeeze the ball, squeeze the ball, press the arms down. In breath, hold. 
exhale, roll the spine back and legs away from you. Two more, up, curl. Keep squeezing the ball, in breath. Exhale, down, legs away. One more, our inner thighs are definitely working hard here. Roll over and exhale. Roll the spine away from the ball. Legs diagonal, bend the knee and lower the ball down. Brilliant, okay. Now let's come up. Right, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some back extension work and then we're going to do some teaser and we're gonna do some catch stretch. All right, so what we're gonna do is go into a lunge, bring the ball underneath your pelvis and then step the other foot out or back. All right, and then you're gonna have the hands resting on the ball and we're gonna bring the body over the ball here. Now the feet can be as wide as your pelvis and maybe as well as a mat if you need more stability here. Now from here, rotate the shoulder back and down, lengthen the head away, and then tickle the chest up into an extension. And then from here, we're gonna continue the journey to a higher swan. And return ourselves back over the ball. Again, in breath. You're gonna rest your forearm onto the ball here. Reach the leg away, rotate the shoulder blade down. We're gonna lift up, press down into the ball, push the chest forward and up, straighten the leg behind you and bring yourself over the ball and round the back. Again, two more times, inhale. Rotate the shoulders down, stretch the leg behind you. Press down with the arm as you arch the back away from the arms. And come on back down. Let's do one last one here. We're gonna inhale to lift up, 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 up. Exhale and hold over, over, over. Okay, bend the knee, lift the spine, cat stretch. Release the ankles here. We're gonna start with the vertical alignment from the shoulder down to your knee here. Take an in-breath. Exhale, we're gonna curl the spine forward towards the ball. We try not to push the pelvis back here. We're gonna flex our body forward. And then at a certain point, the pelvis is going to tip forward into a horizontal placement, pressing the armpit to each other, lifting the ribs up, and then exhale, curl the tail under. Try not to sit back, but curl the tail under, then walk your ball towards you and just stack the spine up, coming up nice and tall. We can just walk the hand forward and back here and roll down, walk your hand, walk the ball, and then press the hands into the ball, flatten the back, press into the ball, long spine here, curling the tail under, pressing the hips forward, rolling the ball towards you, and then lifting up the spine. And let's do two more times. We roll down, forward, and press down with the hands, lifting the chest forward, and exhale, curling the pelvis under, rolling the spine up, and stack it up one more time. And we roll down, roll forward, forward, push the ball, press the hands down, lengthen the spine. I want the lats muscle to work here. Press your ankles down too. Curl the tail under, zip up the abdominal, just stack the spine up, 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 good. One last one, teaser time. So let's go down to the floor again. 
and half your legs on the ball together. Okay, right, arms overhead. From there, we're gonna inhale to lift the head and the chest up and then rolling through the spine, lifting up the back, take the arms to the ceiling. And we're gonna pull back in the abdominal, rolling the spine away from the legs and bring the arms overhead. Again, inhale, we lift, and we're gonna pull in the abdominal and roll up, roll up, roll up. And then we're gonna extend the spine straight, take the arms, pull back, roll the spine. You can adjust the feet to make it a little bit lower, closer to the ground, a little bit high off the ground, but just walking your feet down and up. Last two, in breath. And up we go, and lengthen the spine, and exhale, roll back, and arms overhead. One last one, in breath, and roll it up, 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 lift, and roll back. Add some smile there, so it doesn't look like we're struggling. And release. All right, bring the knee, walk the feet, walk the ball to you. And then just rest your leg on the ball. Open the arms. We're just going to breathe, okay? Close your eyes if you want to. Open your eyes, I'll leave it up to you. Okay, let's just breathe to finish the class. Inhaling through the nose, I like you to just expand the lungs as much as you can and breathe in as long as possibly. You possibly can. Exhale through the mouth, feeling the body surrendering to the floor. Inhaling, expanding. Two more. Softening the body as you breathe out, melting down to the floor as you breathe out. Last one. Inflate the rib cage, inflate the belly, inflate the chest, inflate the lungs. Exhale, deflating, softening, melting, surrender down. And you are done, my friend. Excellent work. That was some very challenging exercise there. Thank you for joining me and moving with me to today. And I hope to see you back on the mat tomorrow for another awesome class. Have a lovely day. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.